Hello and welcome to Modern Routing for Dummies, the how-to show for Modern Routing Dummies just like me. Now last time we created signs for my Zane's Cold Storage place. So now, now that I got the signs on the building, it's time to install the building on the layout. So without any further ado, let's go back in time when I actually put it on and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, the first step that we're going to need to do before we actually put the building in place is we're going to need to paint this area here black. Now, the reason why it's gray is because I had to put plaster in here. Also, we're going to need to sweep off all the dirt and stuff that's built up. The reason why the plaster here is gray is because I prefer when when you pour plaster I'd recommend actually darkening it uh, paint it uh, put it brown or something put black paint or dark brown in it so that way if some of the plaster does happen to show through it will not be white now I'm thinking I probably should have done brown but I did black because I'm the base color for me is black so, so I ended up with a gray. The paint I'm using is Apro Barrel Black. So I mean, I've also got some cheap, just regular paint for, you know, wall paint or whatever, whatever the regular paint. But I don't feel like mixing that up. And this is very, this is just a small area. So. Paint this area up, just douse on a bunch of black. There we go. And of course be very careful along the wall. If you've already got your wall painted and stuff, I'd recommend being a, being a little on the cautious side so you don't have to come back and paint. And just make sure that when you bring your scenery in, just make sure it's a little bit thicker there to cover up any blue or anything. Now, like I said, when I ballasted this area here, I should have painted it black first before I ballasted. So that way the ballast would be over top of the black. But, of course, I'm a model roading dummy, so you, hindsight is 2020. Foresight is however bad you can get. Foresight is blind. Just bring it as close as you can to the ballast. Okay, now the paint is pretty much dry. So now we can go on to the next step. Which is put the building in. First, let's test fit it. Now. Of course, when I did this... I did not, of course, get this perfectly level like I should have. But I have discovered that by putting in a railroad tie right about there, it just so happens to be about the right spot uh, to get it pretty much level. So here's what we're going to do. Now, we want this to be fairly permanent, but yeah... But yet, not permanent. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're gonna, just going to take Elmer's white glue. Okay. <clears throat> now, one thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to spread this completely out 
so that when we put in the scenery right next to the track here, we already have the glue in, and we don't have to worry about getting glue on the building. So just spread this all on. Make sure I get a decent amount. Sorry about that, I have my arm in the way. I was trying to get my arm out of the way. Okay. Now, put this approximately here, because I think that's where we want it. And then I'm going to want to put just a tad bit of glue on top of this. Or a lot of glue. Okay, now let's put this into position. Okay, I was way off. But, there we go. There. Now that looks good. So the next step will be to put some... the senior right up here. Now, I'm thinking that... The base would be gravel, because you know they bring gravel in to level the ground off. So, we're going to use our my homemade sifted sand to use for the gravel. Okay, I'm putting pouring in into a bowl here so that it's not as likely to tip over. You can put some in and bring it in a lot easier. So, we got a lot of we want to bring this right up to the building, kind of and level this out. I think I'm going to change camera angles. Okay, I think that angle will work. So, here, I'll take this foam brush one to help smooth it out a bit oops got a little bit of gravel on the track okay now we'll take our foam brush push it in and push it right up to the building.
Okay, that's our base of gravel. Now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is bring in some ground foam, some grass, because they're not gonna keep that all that well kept. Okay, the ground foam we'll be using is Woodland Scenics Blended Turf Green Blend. And I'm using this old ground mustard container to spread it on. Although, I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, I think it will. Okay, around the bellows there, I'm gonna have to bring it in with a spoon. on the tracks a little bit. But these tracks have been here a while. Okay, now let's bring a little bit on a spoon. Try and get the same effect. Man, I, I like using the ground mustard container so much better. You can control it a whole lot easier. Okay, that looks good. I got the let's see, just brush off the bellows here. Now let's get some some bigger weeds. We'll use our uh, woodland scene as coarse turf, medium green. And dump it out into the cap. Roll it a little easier. We are pretty much so we can get at it. Just sprinkle it in, particularly. I want to get some along the building like that. Particularly if I, I miss the spots. But there, that that looks good. Just try not to make them look too uniform. There, let's get some right in the back corner kind of hide hide the edges a little bit okay break some over on this side here okay let's go for a little bit of burnt Or, or burnt green. I don't know what you think, but I think this is really, tur really turning out nice. There. Some burnt ones underneath the bellows here. There. Now I'm gonna go get me some dark green. Okay, I got a little bit of dark green here. I'm not gonna use a lot of this. Just to give us a third color. Is it using things in threes or works the best. So by using three colors. You kind of be a little bit like it is in real life. I'm gonna spread that out. There, I don't think I want to put any more in. There. That looks good. Now, 
get our 70% isopropyl alcohol. Pour it in a little container like this. And then find my pipette. Oh, under the camera. Okay, you wanna make sure this here in the corner gets soaked good. I think I'm gonna bring it right along the edge of the tracks here so I can so it can wick its way down. Especially as if I happen to blow a little bit away on this side of the ties, you're not going to see it as much. Okay, next step, adding on our glue. Okay, once again, this is my homemade scenic cement. 50% water, 50% Elmer's white glue, and a couple drops of dish soap to help break the tension. Get her all in. Once again, I'm going to start with the ties because it is the highest point. So that way it can help work its way in a little bit better. One thing you want to do is make sure the bushes are all nicely saturated. Particularly if they're sticking up. Make sure you get the sticking up portions. Okay, that is looking good. It's all nicely saturated with glue and stuff. Now, I think the next thing we're gonna do is this little corner area here. I think we'll all, we'll, I think before we're done, we'll just quick cover this area here. Which means I'll have to move the camera. Okay, I think this area here is gonna be mainly mowed because I think this area here is gonna belong to Zane's cold storage in which case I think they would be mowed so I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this is a nice spot you know and I think I may add a tree too so so let's add a little so let's turn this into a nice lawn and I'm gonna turn on I'm gonna go start listening to my story so you could start listening to the music that I put for the video
Okay, that is going to be it for today. The building is in place and it looks great. Now I think that our next project our next project for next week is going to be working on some trees because originally it was going to be a Piggly Wiggly but as you'll find out next week that got changed to working on some trees so I'll probably do, do two or three episodes of working on some trees and then we're going to work on a Piggly Wiggly store so if you like this video please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. If you do subscribe, make sure to hit the little bell icon so that you receive notifications when you when I release new content. So, until next time, keep working on your model railroads, keep having fun, keep experimenting with new techniques, and until next time, keep your trains on the tracks. <laughs>